In vanilla RimWorld, there are many types of raiders, but the sapper is deemed one of the craftiest and smartest, or so you think. Defending against sappers cannot be perfected, but it can be improved, and that is what this guide is here for today. The first question we have to ask is, what are sappers? For those of you who are not familiar with the specifics, sappers don't traditionally attack or raid your colony. They will mine or blast a path into your base rather than hitting your walls or doors like other raiders do. Sappers main target is to reach one of your colonists assigned beds and sappers can be dangerous to colonies that are based in the mountains that rely upon a single entrance for defense as sappers can mine or blow their way through a side of a mountain into an unguarded section of the base. Sappers tend to avoid digging through high health veins of ore or into areas within the range of turrets but they do not mind security traps such as deadfalls or IEDs. Also, it's possible to create a trap area to kill them beforehand, preferably one without turrets. And preferably, you want to have deadfalls, IEDs, sandbags, and walls for defense, rather than having a kill box of turrets. The first thing you must do, whether your base is in the mountain or not, is to locate weaknesses. For this video, I chose to do a mountain base, but the same rules apply for one that is made in the open. First is undefended areas. These are areas without a turret. Second is thin walls. Four to five layers thick is preferable as if they do end up mining or blasting through that wall, you have time to react. Third is weak wall materials such as wood or steel for example. The best materials are the stone ones in my opinion as they are expendable and they are common. Lastly is enclosed areas. This refers to areas your turrets could cover but can't due to a wall in the way. The best thing to do is to make a big buffer section around the base or at the point of entry. Also, if you're worried about making so many turrets, use the power switch and have conduits that connect to the switch so you don't consume outrageous amount of power during a peace period as you can just flick the power on and off. Finally, to defend the sapper raid, there are two ways you can approach it. The first is to stay back and play defense, and the other is to counterattack and take out the sappers before they can do damage to your base. While defending, spread out your defensive positions, because if sappers do decide to directly attack your colonists and they get through the area in which you want them to come through, they will only be attacking them individually instead of downing an entire group of colonists. If you want to counterattack, the best thing to do is to instantly assault them before they can mine too much. Preferably while they are running up to your base, the other members will then carry on the normal assault. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys want to, go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and check out my other guides in a playlist that I have on my channel. If you guys want to go check those out, you can if you want some more RimWorld guides and tips. And without further ado, thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. God bless.